Hi there. Thanks for coming out. Have you ever walked into the desert? Have you ever just pulled over on the side of the road? And I don't mean like a long journey, setting water caches and doing some insane thing, <laughs> but just pulling over on the side of the road and, and just walking, just so you can hear the sound of your footsteps and so you can hear your breathing and, and you can just see the, the land around you exposed. Have you done that? You know that feeling <laughs> when you're out there that, that just, it, it, your life just instantly unfolds where it's, it's, you know, you spend so many of your days or I spend so many of my days working on my thing, my ideas, you know, it's all my stuff and then you step out in the desert and it's not your stuff anymore. You step out there and it is just that land telling its story. And it's not, I, I guess I, I, focus, I focus on deserts so much, but it's just any kind of landscape where you can see the shape of it. You can see the size of what's going on around you. You're walking into it and, and some people say that uh, it makes you feel small. But I actually think it's not that it makes you feel small. It makes you feel boundless. There is no scale. You are neither small nor large. You're in a landscape that is, is its own size. Today, I, I drove uh, down the San Luis Valley and, and I had to pull over with the, the train of the Sangre de Cristos going by with, the, with just a, a bit of snow on top. And you just stand outside and you realize, I'm in a land of giants here. It changes the way you see the world to get out into terrain that's exposed, that's open. And, and that's, I think, what led me to, to writing, write this book, Apocalyptic Planet. I know it sounds like a, a scary book. The, uh, the, the subtitle is Field Guide to the Ever-Ending Earth, ever-ending being an end that just keeps on going. And in this, you, you discover that it's not about endings as much it is, as it is about beginnings. And right at the, the front of this book, there's a small disclaimer. <laughs> the word apocalypse from the Greek apocalypsis originally referred to the lifting of a veil or a revelation. The common definition as a destructive world, worldwide event is more recent. In this book, it is both. I wrote a book to go back to this idea of apocalypse as not just the end of the world, not just a catastrophic moment, but apocalypse as a revelation, as peeling back the layers and revealing the mystery underneath. And that's what happens when you walk out into the desert or when you walk out into exposed land. I mean, you just walk up into the San Juans and you see it. Everything is just brought to the surface, eroded, exposed, and you feel this different scale. If you feel the world that you lived in just peel back and reveal kind of the x-ray underneath, the bones of the earth underneath. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I wrote this book, because I wanted to peel away the earth and go, what is this thing about? What is this story we live on? Because the world, the earth itself is telling stories. Stories of geology, stories of evolution, stories of massive changes in the past. As I was writing this, this book, a friend of mine would, would every now and then come to me and just say, hey, so you're talking to all these climate researchers and, and you're writing about the end of the world and, and so, uh, so when do you think it's gonna happen? <laughs> and he hadn't read the book yet <laughs> because the answer's in here. <laughs> it already happened. It's happening now. It keeps happening. It's not a moment. There's not a sudden flash of light and it's, and it's suddenly all over. It's a process. The end is a world in itself. And so that's what I did in this book is it explored endings. I, I chose nine different ways in which the world will end. And, and I did this by looking through the geologic record and saying, well, how has it ended in the past? And the, the one thing that I was really trying to answer is, you know, when he asked, when is it going to happen? I want to ask in return, what is it? 